Hi students, again we are going to be looking at another topic which is missed operation on Decima. And we're going to be following the rules of operation that we made mentioned earlier in our previous topic, which is uh, bracket, B stand for bracket, O stand for order, D stand for division, M stand for multiplication, a stand for addition and S stand for subtraction. So this rule is telling us that we have to follow each and every one of them before we can do the other one. So bracket must be taken care of before division, uh, division before multiplication, multiplication before addition, then addition before subtraction. So now we have uh, an activity here for us to look at. This is just what we can easily do. Now let's look at 16 minus 2. What is 16 minus 2? What would the answer give us that's 14 right so 14 minus 6 will give us what it will give us 8 so we have 8 as our answer here okay now 20 minus 4 what is 20 minus 4 i believe that should be what uh okay so let's look at what we what was performed there like this is 20 minus 4 plus 6 and you know based on the rule of our uh, of board mass addition has to come before what before uh, subtraction so we have to add 4 plus 6 is what 4 plus 6 is 10 and so we have 20 minus 10 so if we have 20 minus 10 i believe that is 10 so answer here also is going to be 10 and let's check so we are right uh we are good so now let's look at an example here we have an example here yeah, but before we go there uh what is the reciprocal uh, the reciprocal of a number is obtained when one is divided by the number so when you divide one by a number then it gives a reciprocal of that number dividing one fraction by the other gives the same results as multiplying the reciprocal so by the time you divide the fraction by the other one it will give us the same results by also multiplying the reciprocal so we have a worked example here that has actually been worked out but we're going to be showing the workings uh and explain how we can go about that so we are going to be showing the work. Let's see how it goes. Now let's see. This is three times uh this is over four multiplied by uh two over three. Three times two is what six divided by what divided by uh four times three. Four times three is what twelve. Look at this. I think something can go in both of them. King six can go in six. How many times that is one time, so we can have this to be one over two, and also uh, uh six can go in nothing in 12. How many times we have two times, so which is two, so we have one over two as our final answer, and this gives us what we have here as a solution. Now, let's look at this. This is a missed fraction, we are going to be changing it to improper fraction, then we multiply. So, by the time you change this to improper fraction, three times are uh, three times. 2 will give us what? Uh, 6 plus 1, that is 7 over 2. Then let's multiply. 4 times 7 is what? 28. 28 plus 4 will give us 32 over 7. Now we multiply this by this. So 7 times 32. 7 times 32 will give us 2, 2, 4. And 2 times 4 is what? That is 14. That's 14. So if we have that, then we can now divide uh, 14 in 20. Two to uh, two two four. So how many times can fourteen actually goes in two two four? We have sixteen, and that is our final uh, answer. So we have that there as our final. We are looking at another example here. We are going to be dividing these two. So I'll pick just the first one, which is uh, three over eight divided by uh, three over four. One thing about division is. Uh, by the time you are dividing, the second uh, fraction will change and this sign changes to multiplication. So this uh, denominator becomes the numerator and this numerator becomes the denominator for the second fraction so that we can have what we can multiply and divide. So we can now have it to be 3 over 8 multiplied by uh, 4 over 3. Now let's look at it. Something can go here. 3 can go here. 3 can go here. That is 1. That is 1. And if you look at this one as well, 4 can go in 4, we have 1. 4 can go in 8, that is 2. So by the time we multiply, 1 times 1 will give us what? 1 times 1 will give us 1. The over what? Uh, 2 times 1 will give us 2. So that's our answer. Our final answer for this fraction is what? 1 over 2. Now for this one, is already worked out. What we just need to do is what? We change this to 
I am improper fraction. We change this one to an improper fraction, which we have here. Then we change the sign, and this sign changes to what? Multiplication. So this becomes our denominator. Why 11 becomes the denominator? And by the time we cancel out, our answer is going to be what? Our answer is going to be 3 over 2. That's our final answer for the second one. <clears throat> This leads to the next activities we have here. We are going to be quickly showing how we go about these answers and we solve together. But before we go to the uh, solution of this, let's quickly check this out. The reciprocal of a number is obtained when one is divided by the number. That is true. Let's check. So we are true. So now let, we are good to go. Now let's uh, solve this and we'll be able to pick the right answers from this place let's go over three so by the time this cancel this can cancel this this cancel this Our answer is going to be what two over four two over four can be divided uh, by two by two two in two will give us one and two in four will give us two so we have one over two as our answer which is this let's look at the second one four over five divided by by 7 over 5. As I said earlier, these changes and sign changes here. So this becomes the numerator, 7 becomes the denominator, and the sign changes towards multiplication sign. So we have 4 over 5 multiplied by, now we have uh, 5 over 7 now. So this cancel this, and our answer here is going to be what 4 over 7, because 4 times 1 will give us 4, and uh, uh, 1 times 7 as well will give us 7. Now with that, we can easily pick our answers there and get the solution right. Okay, so the first answer, what's the solution to the first one? The answer to this one is what? The answer should be what? 1 over 2 based on what we've calculated. And the answer to this one is what? 4 over 7. So our answer for the second uh, problem that we have solved is 4 over 7. So let's check. So we are right. Now that lead us to the next uh, subtopic, which is what how we can actually change uh, a fraction to decimal. So what happens if we have a fraction and want to change it to decimal? We have an example here, and we are going to be using this uh, short division method, you know, to solve this uh, example. This is one over eight. We want to change one over eight to uh, a decimal. This is a, a, a fraction. A proper fraction and want to change it to what to decimal. So let's we are changing one over eight to we are going to do that by dividing eight by one. So we are dividing eight by one. So we have eight outside, we have one here. So now let's look at it. How many times can eight goes in one? It's not possible. So we have zero, then we have point. Now for this one, we are going to have our point and we add zero to it. How many times can eight goes in ten? That is one. And to remain what it will remain two. So we have two remaining here, remember? So that two we are going to be normally we are supposed to have this. That is minus we have two. Now let's add another zero here. How many times can eight goes in 20? That is two. Eight times two, 16. So we have two here. And remember that we have so we have 16 minus two. So we have this minus this. That is what four. Now let's have another zero. We add another zero to it. How many times can it go in 40? That is five. So we have our five here. So by the time you subtract 40 from here, this one will give us what zero. So if you are dividing one by eight, our answer is 0 0.125. And if you look at it, one over eight is actually the fraction we are talking about. And when we divide it, this turns to what? This turns to a uh, uh, decimal point. So that leads us to uh, another slide that we have here. Okay, we want to look at this one as well. We are changing this. This is a mixed fraction. We want to change this mixed fraction to uh, a decimal uh, value. Now, if you look at it, this is 2 number 3 over 5. Let's split it. We have 2 as a whole number and we have 3 over 5 as a uh, fraction. So, now let's go ahead and let's uh, divide 3 by 5. We are going to be dividing 3 by 5. So let's go ahead and divide 3 by 5. So we have this now. We can have our 3 here. We have our 5. 5 cannot go in 3. Yes, it's not possible. So we have 0 and we have our decimal point. So if we have that, we had our decimal point here and had 0 to this place as well. Now 5 can go in 30 how many times? 6. So by the time you subtract this as well from this, that is zero. So 
three five can actually goes in three in 0 0.6 times so we have already changed three over five to a uh, decimal or 0 0.65 now remember we have two plus now which is going to give us 0 0.6 and by the time you add that together it's going to be what 2.6 so changing this to mixed fraction we can now say that we have a uh, two number three over five to decimal as what 2.6 that give us uh, the solution to the problem and lead us to the next slide if you look at it here we are explaining how to actually de change decimals to fraction remember we have been changing fractions to decimal so we can change decimals to fraction look at the illustrations of uh, place value here we can read in millions we can read in hundred millions we can read in tens in ones even before the decimal and then after the decimal I've told us that we are starting from the least to the highest which is ten hundred thousand even to millions and billions as it reads so we can actually follow this route by the time we have a decimal point and we want to change to fraction so that leads us to how to change to fraction we have a steps here i'll just explain how about these steps and if you look at this step we are converting from uh, the decimal point. This is the decimal point. We want to convert it to what? To a fraction. So 0 0.25. We have this one. You know, everything is over one. So let's multiply this one by 100. And you multiply this one to by 100. You multiply by 100. It's going to give us what? 25 over 100. Because 1 times 100 will give us uh, 100. So if you look at this, there's a common factor that we can use it. 5 can go in this one, 5 can go in 100 as well. So 5 in 25 will give us 5. So let's try and divide by 5 anyway. Let's divide by 5. So if this one, divide this one by 5, that will give us what? 5. And 5 in 100 is what? Is 20. If you look at this again, we can still reduce to its lowest term where we can't have anything that can divide both of them any longer. So 5 can go in 5, 1, and 5 can go in 21. So if we divide this one by Five again we have it to be one and divide this uh 20 by five we have it to be five so our final answer for this is what one over five if you look at this question this is a decimal point and based on the expression we have here we have actually you know uh converted to what to a fraction four so that leads us to the next activities that we have which is this now let's look at what we have here to change a fraction to a decimal, the denominator is divided by the numerator. Yes, yes. So the denominator must be divided by what that is the denominator. So that is true for whenever we want to change fractions to decimal. Now let's quickly look at this answer and let's uh, look at what we can do here. They said we should change this one to what? Uh, to, a, uh, to a fraction and we change this from fraction to what? To a decimal. So we are going to follow the our procedure we had before and we are going to get our answer out so we are going to be solving that in the minute so let's try and follow as we solve that so let's 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 solve and let's see what we have here for the first one here we have uh two over five we want to change what uh decimal so let's divide we have uh five and we have uh Two. So let's see. Can five goes in two? It's not possible. So we have zero. It's not possible for us to have a uh, two in five, right? So we have a uh, zero. Then let's look at it again. By the time you okay, we are supposed we are to divide two by five, right? So we are supposed to have our numerator inside the box and the denominator outside the box. So we are to have a uh, root of uh, two then we have five we have five so now five cannot go into right we have zero points now let's add about the decimal point here and let's add zero can five goes in 20 yes five can go is in 20 that is four so this one now two over five has been converted to a decimal point of what zero point four now let's look at the second example which is zero point three zero we want to change that one to what to a fraction so you divide through let's have zero point three zero like we did you have divided by one now we multiply this one by 100 we multiply this one to buy 100 so by the time you multiply by 100 that is going to be 30 over 100 30 over 100 easily we can cancel this this zero can cancel each other and our answer is going to be was give give us 3 over 
10. So for this answer, our answer is 0 0.4. And for this answer, for this question, change 2 over 5 to decimal, our answer is going to be 0 0.4. And uh, for this question, change 0 0.3 to a fraction, our answer is going to be what? 3 over 5. This takes us to the end of the top, uh, of the class. We actually want you to subscribe for the full details of this uh, topic. Uh, we have an interactive content for this uh, topic on our website, which is www.edub.com. Thanks for listening. Thank you.